Right then guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm doing my League 2 Team of the Season for the 2022-23 season. So I'll be picking 11 players in a 4-3-3 formation, in my opinion, have been the best players in League 2. So yeah, let's get into the video. Starting off in goal, I've got Latin Orient, Lawrence Vigarou. I think he's been the best keeper in this division. 24 clean sheets in 44 League 2 games. You know, 30 goals conceded as well in them, in them games in 44. So, yeah, I think he's been the best keeper. I mean, there is a debate. Harry Lewis at Bradford, you know, he's had a, a great impact um, there at Bradford. But I think Lawrence Vigarou does um, edge it for me. He's got the most clean sheets in the league. So, I think that tells you um, everything. So, he goes in, in goal for my team of the season. At right back, I've got Stockport County's Cole Noyle. Um, obviously, the first half season was at Doncaster, and he was their best player by far. And then he joined Stockport in January, where he's continued that. I think he's uh, very, um, very good there in that right flank. You know, he's positive. He, he attacks well. Um, yeah, and he, he's pretty solid defensively too. Um, six assists um, this season in League Two. Um, so he's good going forward. He can put a good ball into the box, and I think. You know, since he's joined Stockport there too, he's he's really um, added to their um, attack in front of goal too from that right flank. So, yeah, I think he has to go in for me at right back. My first centre-back, I've got Steven Eads, um, Carl Pierre Gianni, um, joined from Oldham in the summer. And I think he's been one of Steven Eads' best signings this season. I think he's been one of their best players. He's the only Steven Eads player I've got in this team after their incredible season. I think the influence he's put on the side, you know, he wins everything going forward off set pieces and defensively. He's been a real key factor to why Stevenage have been promoted this season. I think organises that defence really well. And yeah, he deserves to go into this side, in my opinion. And the second um, centre-back next to him, I've got John Guthrie of Northampton. I think I had to pick John Guthrie because Northampton have suffered with injuries this season. And I think whenever... You know, he's been a key reliable player in that team. I think he played 41 games this season and the defence has been really solid. Um, he's another player that will win everything in the air, air really. And yeah, he's, he's just been a really solid defender for Northampton um, in both seasons in League 2. Um, and yeah, he deserves to go into this side. On to left back and I think this was the hardest position to um, pick from. Um, I couldn't really think of many outstanding left backs. Um, but um, thinking about it, I've drawn up two names. I had Ibu uh, Toure from Salford. And the one I've just picked is Jack Armour. I think he just edges it for me. I think he's been solid off that left wing back slash left back role for Carlisle. They've had a, a superb season this season. Um, there's a, there'll be another Carlisle player coming into this side. But on to Jack Armour. I think he's yeah he, he does really contribute offensively and defensively for... Um, for the Cumbrians and you know that he's been a real factor toward their success this season off that left flank and um, they got to the playoff final I've seen him play three times two two in the league one in the FA Cup he's just looked really good in both games and um, so yeah I think he yeah he gets in for me at left back the three centre mids I think this is the easiest of of all the positions on the in the team of the season so my first um, centre mid I've got Idris El Mazzouni from Leighton Orient He's obviously on loan from Ipswich, but his his technical ability is one of the best in this league. Um, in especially in that one one game, um, we played him uh, in that midfield in the second half. He controlled everything. He di dictates the play. Like play. Um, he, play. People probably don't um, recognise him as much because he doesn't get goals and assists, which people base football a lot nowadays. But his technical ability and he. He's incredible and I think he's got a good career ahead of himself. Will Latin Orient get him back? I think O's fans will be hoping he get, he'll go back to Latin Orient. But yeah, he deserves to go into this side, in my opinion. Next um, midfielder is probably one of the best players in this league. Owen Moxon, six goals, 15 assists, which is, um, you know, 21 goal contributions from midfield is superb. You know, I think he's another player I can't see playing in league two next season. Obviously, if Carlo will go up, I think he'll stay with them. But if if not, he'll be in League One, maybe even the lower championship side. He's had been absolutely superb for Carlo. And, um, you know, been a main influence. I mean, that ball he put in for the uh, playoff semi-final against Bradford just sums him up. His composure on the ball, 
um, that quality just to win games. Um, that's what you need in um, good side. And then the third centre mid I've got is um, Elliot Watt from Salford. Uh, 15 assists this season. You know, he joined from Bradford in the summer and he's had another really good season um, for Salford. You know, there were questions why he left Bradford in the summer, but I think the move has worked out. I think he suits Neil Wood's style of football. You know, he's a very good ball player. He really does suit that style of system. I think, yeah, he's another player that will attract um, interest from other clubs in the EFL. So there's my three centre mids, and I think they have been the best in the league by far. Maybe a debate for Will Collar in that team um, for centre mid. I think he's been really solid for Stockport. Um, I've, obviously, I've obviously seen Stockport play three times, especially in that um, Christmas game, around Christmas when we lost 2-0 to him. He was absolutely superb that day. But then the three centre mids are going to pick onto the attacking three now. I'm going to start with the right wing, Sam Hoskins from Northampton. No debate about this one. He's been superb for Northampton. One of another main reasons why Northampton have gone up. His goals and assists have been really key for why the Cobblers have gone up automatically this season. You know, he's played everywhere. I think I've saw something. He played right back um, at one point. Right wing, he can go up front too. So... Very versatile player, plays for the Northampton badge. He's been there seven or eight years now, so he's a club legend there at Northampton. You know, that goal he scored at Tramia did secure promotion, so he goes into the side for me. Onto the strike position, I think this one is an easy pick for me. Andy Cook from Bradford City, 28 goals this season, and he's been Bradford and, in my opinion, League Two player of the season. Uh, he's been out outstanding for the um, for the Bantams. You know, he's always a threat up there. Um, his presence, and he'll always get a goal, um, even if he doesn't get many touches of the ball. He will um, get the ball in the opposition's net, and twenty eight goals has shown that. I think you know he's out of contract with B Bradford in this summer, so will he stay there? We'll wait and see. But yeah, he's been outstanding for Bradford. The final position is left wing, and I've gone with Paul Smith of Leighton Orient. You know, champions Leighton Orient, they deserve at least three players in there. And I think Paul Smith has been outstanding. He's probably Leighton Orient's best player. Um, in my opinion, what I've seen, you know, he's he always a threat um, down that left flank. And he could probably play in League One. Probably a bit too good for League Two. But yeah, 10 goals this season and a few assists in there, I think. You know, he's been really good for Leighton Orient. You know, that's why he goes into this team. He's always a threat there in that left flank. And I think good luck to Leighton Orient next season because they deserve to win this league this season. And we'll see how they get on alongside the other three teams. And obviously, the playoff final, which is Stockport versus Carlisle tomorrow. So we'll see who goes up from that one. But there's my team of the season. I'm just going to add in my manager of the season. I think this is an interesting one. I could go for the ob obvious choices of Richie Wellens. You know, he's done an outstanding job. I'm not de um, denying that. Um, even Steve Evans done a brilliant job at Stevenage. But I'm actually going to go with Paul Simpson at Carlisle. If you look where he took over from Carlisle, um, they were 23rd in League Two. And he's an absolutely outstanding manager, in my opinion. Um, he's had a good summer. They didn't spend much, but he brought in players that suits his system to the T. Um, he looks at Owen Moxon. Um, he's got the best out of players like John Mellish, um, Dennis up top. So I think you know, you know, I think he's been the best manager in League Two, in my opinion. Obviously, other managers like Richie Wellens um, and Steve Evans are up there, but I'm going to go with Paul Simpson as manager of the season. But thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts um, on my team this season. Do you agree with it or not? Let me know in the comments. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. There'll be some more League 2 content coming out in the next few days. So thank you guys for watching and up the saddlers.